We have seen ourselves as having played a critical role you know, in uh, shaping the futures of everyone who has been keen and yearning for higher education in this country, on, in our region, on the continent. And it is for this reason that uh, we saw it fit that 104 years is really a long time, you know, of doing some good work that we should celebrate this milestone as a university. I can tell you that uh, it was very clear in our minds that um, is Twalandwe uh, Nelson Kholsatla Mandela is very important in the lives of people in this country, uh, but also across the globe. Our view is that uh, he is the father of our democracy in South Africa, and uh, looking at the work that uh, took place, you know, in Cape Town in 1955, you know, leading up to uh, the Freedom, Freedom Charter which has shaped you know, our democracy in this country, uh, we said to ourselves that uh, let's commission you know, some artistic work um, which was going to be undertaken by Pina Yatari you know, as a musical extravaganza. So our view is that uh, this oratorio you know, is the best gift that uh, we as the University of South Africa can give uh, to Tata Mandela to honor him because our view is that uh, it's his greatest honor, you know, that uh, he has given, you know, to, to this country. It's the best gift that you can ever wish for. Yeah. So we said to ourselves that this is an opportunity. It is the birthday uh, of uh, Tata Mandela. Let's do it. This is the time when he turns 95. Our own uh, director, you know, of uh, the Music Foundation identified uh, Bongani uh, Ndodana Breen as uh, the international icon in the music industry that we should uh, commission uh, to, to, to undertake this work. Uh, in July 2011, Bongani was again one of our adjudicators at, at our national piano competition, where the principal, Professor Mokanyo, attended to the opening address, uh, welcoming address at, at the opening function. And we had a brief moment backstage where I was able to introduce Bongani, uh, the composer, to Professor Mokanyo. A little seed was planted. And that's where it started. It's been a three-year dream. I was privileged two years ago to see Bungani's opera uh, called Winnie the Opera um, and that is where I saw the impact that a large-scale production as this can make um, in, in uh, opera form with multimedia with staging etc with full score choir soloists orchestra everything so but it's a wonderful opportunity to for, for all art forms just to come together into one celebration of what I like to call a celebration of life of a life you know, UNISA has been involved with music education since 1896. Of the 140 years we have music education has been there for 136 years. And for me, Credo is the culmination of that, of all the work that has been done over all these uh, uh, decades. Of course, uh, 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 Mearsman uh, and Andrew Black, you know, as uh, the key uh, members in this regard, uh, but also the producers, you know, uh, who came on board in this instance. Uh, but the combination of musicians, you know, was largely uh, undertaken by them, you know, that is now in Atari because they are working with us on the project. As a university, we believe it's our responsibility to continue to remind each other of the founding values of our constitution, the importance for us to, uh, to treasure, to remember, but also to understand how we actually make them come alive. Uh, as we navigate the challenges, our responsibility as universities is not just to look back in terms of history, but also to propose, suggest, uh, and make possible uh, the solutions for the future. So. Uh, our choice uh, of the Freedom Charter uh, 
is, is really born out of the need for us as we are at the dawn of 20 years of democracy to say, let's reflect, let's look back, but also let's look forward to the type of society that we want to be. In terms of youngsters out there, I wish I could give every young child in South Africa the opportunity to learn music and to learn to play a musical instrument. I know what difference it made in my life. I know what difference it's, it's making in the young lives of many, many students, young people in South Africa. I always say through, through the work that we do with music at Tunisia, we level the playing field, we create equal opportunities for everybody, but we also raise the bar. And I think with Kriadu, we have just put another notch in there. And I think the other universities, I wish they would follow. I think we have set a new benchmark in terms of music education, in terms of the support of the much bigger music industry. If you look at the, if you look at the extent of the involvement of the technical crew, the technicians, um, now the, the television production itself, the artists, the choirs, the soloists, the young children in the program that are on stage, the educational program, the schools involved, the creators of the school program, the list is endless and it's all done through music.